Hey guys, it's Tech Infusion here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to design my intro for Gifted Boy for Jesus as well as Tech Infusion. Now this uh, video was requested and I'll have that comment on the screen. And as usual, if you do enjoy my videos, please remember to leave a like. Um, also, there is a new support feature I just added to my channel. So if you have sufficient funds and feel the need or the want to support to my channel, I would really appreciate it. There's an icon in the top right of every video as well as a support button on my channel page. But now we're actually gonna get into the video and today I'm just gonna be teaching you how to actually design my intros in Final Cut Pro. I was going to do it in iMovie as well, but they just la it lacks so much features that I couldn't even reduplicate it. So we're just gonna be teaching you in Final Cut Pro. So basically we have our event here and we're just gonna to need to create a project. Now to create a project, you just hit Command N or I believe you can come up to here to file new and create a project that way. We're just gonna hit Command N for the easy sake of things and we're gonna create the Gifted Boy for Jesus uh, intro first. So we're gonna call it that, um, just like that. And we need to import media, which is Command I. And I already have a folder set up with all the uh, files I need and just import those three. And now we have our files. Now we need to come over here to generators, this little icon right here, and click and drag in a white um, little background right there. And then drag it out to about, I'd say 10 seconds. And we need to change this to bright white over here. Now that we actually have that in, we're going to click on this iPhone intro thing right here and click and drag to the full span of that and pull our intro song in that I wrote so we can uh, actually uh, get this whole project set right before we uh, start editing the whole thing. So we have all this together, just like that. Okay, so that sounds perfect. And now we are actually going to start adding a transition and effects. Now to add transition and effects, we're just gonna come over to our transitions, uh, I guess, library over here, and find the slide, the slide uh, effect or transition, and apply that to the front of the iPhone intro, so it slides in like that. Um, now we're gonna apply a cross dissolve to the end, and actually, I think I might not apply a cross dissolve, because when you create a project, you can just put a cross dissolve between the start of your uh, project as well in between the intro and the the video. So that's when I, what I actually did. I actually just have a hard cut off here and then you can put a cross dissolve in later. Um, now basically we're pretty much actually done, uh, believe it or not, with the intro. So we're just going to watch the whole thing and you'll recognize it if you stayed with my channel a uh, pretty long time, uh, you'll recognize this intro. So let's just go ahead and watch it and then we'll move on to Tech Infusion. So as you can see, that is the Gifted Boy for Jesus intro. And now let's go ahead and create another project called Tech Infusion. Um, Tech Infusion intro. And I already have all the files I need for that, um, which is basically just a song. So that's what's pretty surprising about this. We're gonna come back to our generators library and drag in a crust custom and then pull it out to about, I'd say eight seconds possibly and come up here and select a red, uh, pull in our music, um, find where I want to stop it, select the music. Start from the beginning here. Okay, perfect. So right there. That's where I want to cut it off, drag in the red, and now we have a red background with the music. Now we need to add text boxes here, or titles. Uh, we're just gonna drag in a basic title. Um, now we need to mark the music here for the changes. Okay, there we go. Now let's delete this one so it doesn't get in the way. And now we have our places to set it to. So this is perfect. That's basically what we wanted right there. So uh, now once you have all your titles in, I'll show you uh, how to actually edit the font and everything in them to make it look like my uh, uh, intro. So to change font, as you can see over here, we have the inspector window. Just, I'm just gonna write tech, uh, choose the font as phosphate, 
Um, it should be working right now. Um, okay, phosphate. That's another thing iMovie didn't have. They didn't have my font I like using. Um, we're going to say 300, 340 here. Uh, actually, we're going to need something about like 400. There we go. That's fine. Uh, click and drag that in the middle. We're actually going to do copy and paste and then delete this just like so. So it's the same. And we can just change that to infusion. So now once we have that, okay, so what I had, what the transition I had between these was called bloom, I, I think, yeah, bloom, let's put it between those. Uh, we don't want it on there. We want to slide in, I'm pretty sure, uh, right here. So slide transition again. So we got that slide. I'm pretty sure I made it faster than that. Okay, and for this uh, title, I actually got a lens flare. Lens flare, and let's just replace that there, and come up here and delete this one. Now, um, and I think I had a cross dissolve between these two. Let's check that. Yeah. Okay. So perfect. Um, now we're just gonna edit this one, change the font to phosphate which is my official font I use for this channel and phosphate and let's do tech infusion just like so tech infusion and uh, then I don't remember exactly what I said um, what did I say tutorials reviews unboxings films much more okay so tutorials reviews um, I'm pretty sure I could have actually just stayed there on there when I'm editing this right here. So that's good. Actually, I could see it in a really mini version. <laughs> so uh, we have tutorials. Let's see if we can make this smaller here. Perfect. Um, reviews. Unboxings. Films. Much more just like so and basically we pretty much there's probably a couple more things I need to do with this but we're pr getting pretty close so there you go um, it's not the whole thing I need to I need to add a sound effect coming to our music library and searching for wipe that's what I use I'm pretty sure let's go to all of our sound effects and there we go wipe and now we can oops just select wipe 01 come in and put it right there just like that and that is basically our intro um, there's not not much to it as I said earlier I couldn't do this in uh, iMovie it was just there wasn't enough features where I could reduplicate this and so basically you can only create the exact thing in Final Cut. I'm sure I can mess around with iMovie and create a good enough intro but um, nothing exact because it doesn't have some of the transitions and it doesn't even have this font so you couldn't use this font in iMovie unless you downloaded it and I'm sure there's a way to do that but I just didn't want to mess with all that I just wanted to show you a quick way of how I made my intros and that's basically how I make my intros. Let's just watch this one again So there you go. So that's basically how I make my intros. I just mess around until something looks good. I first made my channel art in uh, Photoshop that looked very similar to this. So I just took the same font and used it in Final Cut and made, as you can see probably on my channel page, if you go there, you will definitely see this as my channel art. Um, basically, I just copied it um, and redesigned it all in Final Cut and text format. So that's basically all I have to say about creating intros. Um, they're not too advanced. I have created more, a little bit more advanced intros in the past. They're on my channel. You can go ahead and search those up. Um, but yeah, that's basically all. 
I have to say, and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this answered your question. If it did, please remember to leave a like, and don't forget to comment and subscribe. Also, please remember to support. I got this new feature. Um, I just want to really want somebody to try it out. Uh, I just, I don't know, like no one's used it so, yet, and I just want to make sure it works. If you feel like you want to support my channel, feel free. You do have to have a Google Wallet account, and I'm going to release a video soon telling you how to create one and support. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.